Hello there, Paul Lopez, a real estate broker and property manager. I'm coming here today to answer three common questions that I often receive as a real estate agent over the last 18 years. We're here in the first part of 2019 and I often hear, is it a good time to buy? Or is it a good time to sell, Paul? Or Paul, what geographical areas do you cover? And so I'm going to briefly talk about each one of these topics here for a moment. Now, when it comes uh, to the question, is it a good time to buy? I'm a firm believer that you need to secure your principal residence. And we're living in an era not too far removed from the crash that we saw back in 2008 and 2009. So it's a great question. Is it a good time to buy? But for a moment, we just need to stop and think about the fact that you need to secure your principal residence, your primary residence of living. So whatever the economy might be doing, yes, we need to take that into consideration. But more importantly, we need to look at, or I should say you need to look at, your personal finances. What's going on with your household finances? Are you being prudent with your income and your expenses? So for example, how about your budgeting? We need to take a look at your budget and find out how well or how poorly or what areas of improvement we can do in, in those areas. Is it a good time to buy? Okay, so how about your family size? These are some questions that we would talk about face to face. Is your family growing? Is, uh, is your family size changing? Do you have some children who perhaps are going to be leaving the home soon? Uh, let's think about um, what your plans are for retirement. So there's a lot of questions that we're going to talk about when it comes to the question, is it a good time to buy? So interest rates may be on the incline or they may be on the decline. Uh, the government may be going in two different directions that we see that's currently happening. But once again, when we're talking about your principal residence, now yesterday was always the best time to buy. And so we'll talk about that in more detail. And I, I always encourage people when they're considering buying a home to meet with me face to face. I'll oftentimes get phone calls from somebody just right off the internet who we've never met before. And they asked me to send them homes. Can you send me some homes for sale? And I'm happy to do that. However, if you are really serious about buying a home, we should sit down and have a conversation. It could be voice to voice over the phone, but really the best way to do that is face to face if possible. And we can do that a number of different ways. If you're currently renting, renting is a great short-term solution and it, there is always a need for renting but renting should never take the place of home ownership for too long of a period of time especially here in California owning a home gives you so many different benefits of securing your financial future of having some ability to predict what's going to happen tomorrow by being able to own your own home and not have to really be worried about whether the landlord is going to sell the property tomorrow or they're just going to ask you to leave for whatever reason. Perhaps you guys don't get along or whatever, whatever the situation might be. So is now a good time to buy a home? We just need to talk. Let's find out what your particular situation is and we will put together a step-by-step -step process and determine whether now is a good time to buy a home irrelevant of what's going on with the economy. Yes, we need to take that into consideration, but don't let that stop you from really sitting down with a professional like myself and my team and determine whether now is a good time to buy a home. All right, the next thing I wanted to briefly talk about was sellers. All right, so you, are you a homeowner? If you're a homeowner, do you want to sell your home? Okay, why do you want to sell? Or what's stopping you from selling? Maybe you're in your home and you've got caught up in the pressures of life. And maybe there's some reasons why you want to move. Um, it could be a number of different things. Maybe your family's getting bigger, it's getting smaller, or you're just not too thrilled about your neighbors anymore, or some of the things that 
you originally liked about your home, you don't like them anymore, and you can't even begin to imagine somebody else buying your home for the reasons that you're not so happy about your property with. These are all things that oftentimes sellers can get stuck in their head about, but when they give me a phone call and I meet with them face to face, we discuss those things and oftentimes find out they're not that big of a deal. But in your mind or in the seller's mind, they may think that it's an issue that is going to be very hard to overcome. So is now a good time to sell? It all depends on your particular situation and where you're moving or why you're moving and what your next step is going to be. So I encourage you that if you're thinking about selling, don't get too stuck in your head about actually making that phone call or sending me an email and saying, hey Paul, we need to sit down and have a conversation about my plan to sell my home. And your plan to sell your home could be two to three, four, five years down the road. So it's never too early to, to talk with me because we can start taking step-by-step -step measures to get you to where you need to be. Maybe you need to start decluttering your home, making some small improvements. You don't want to get really tied in with too many different contractors or people you don't know to take care of these things. And, and I'm working with contractors every day, all day long, and so I have the right people to refer to you and help you through that process. Um, there's a lot of other great reasons to sell too. Maybe you have a lot of equity in your home and um, you're thinking, hey, I got so much equity in my home and I want to start traveling and I want to uh, take some of that equity, put it into some different type of retirement vehicles. I don't necessarily want to take it all out, but I want to move it around. We can discuss those steps and create a great plan for your future. All right, and the last uh, question I wanted to cover was, Paul, what geographical areas do you cover? Well, I'm primarily based here in Tracy, which is the Central Valley. I was born and raised in San Jose, and I often find myself driving all around covering uh, Santa Clara County, Alameda County, San Joaquin County, Stanislaus County. Um, and the other day I took a trip down to Orange County, San Clemente, California with a good client of mine. And we identified four properties, beachfront properties. We arrived in San Clemente. We viewed them, we made an offer, and we're gonna get ready to close escrow pretty soon here. So depending on where you are looking to buy a home, what we do is we create a strategic plan. I'm all about strategy. That's the main thing. Most of the work I do is right here behind my desk, meeting with you face to face or over the phone, creating a strategy for you so we can be very effective at what goal you're trying to accomplish. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, create that strategy. We'll travel to wherever you, we need to travel to here in California and find you the right home. Same thing for selling. So anywhere here in the state of California, I can help you sell your home. And if you're moving out of state, I have a great network of professionals that I can refer you to. So uh, I appreciate you tuning into the video today. If you're thinking about buying, Please don't get too caught up in what's going on with interest rates or loan programs. We're going to talk about your income. We're going to talk about your expenses and what's the best scenario for your situation and then create a plan. Maybe you decide to buy in the next month or two or, or perhaps it could be two to three years down the road. But whatever your situation is, I'm a firm believer that you should probably buy a home sooner than later and it's going to be so important for your financial future and uh, you could even be somewhere down the road perhaps even in retirement and you want to buy a home let's talk about it if you're thinking about selling a home maybe you have a lot of equity in your home and you want to move it around you you want to uh, downsize and buy an investment property or you're too uh, caught up in the fact that who's going to want to buy your home and we sometimes forget about some of the great things about the neighborhood we live in or how it could be great for somebody else and not necessarily for you at this given time. And then finally, uh, the areas of coverage for Team Lopez. We can cover any area here in the state of California and we're always happy to do so. Just give me a phone call here at 925-980-0871 or send me an email paul at teamlopez.com. I'm located right here in Tracy on 11th Street. Come by and say hello anytime. We always have a fresh cup, a fresh pot of coffee brewing, uh, and we just would love to catch up with you. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about how real estate plays into that. We'll get you taken care of. Give me a call. Talk to you soon. See you guys.